I'm Michael and I've been with York for about four years now or close to. Uh, I started out in Fuzhou, I uh, was there for a year and a half and then moved to Shenzhen to open or help open a couple of new branches down there. Then in April of this year, I came back to the Fuzhou area, specifically out here to Minho to open up our new Minho branch in this area. So really been a fun challenge here. So Minho feels more like the China that everyone imagines. When I first moved to Fuzhou, um, it was so developed and so, so, so crazy and big city. Uh, it wasn't what I thought of. And whereas here in Minho, you, you definitely get that small town feel. The locals are super friendly and they want to meet you. You get to see all the, the markets that we always grew up on in the movies and it, as cliche as it sounds, it, it, it feels more like the China I imagined than the China when I first got here. And that's a good thing because you can see the incredibly developed and awesome China in Fuzhou, which is only a 30 minute car ride away. But you can also live out here in the smaller, slower paced, uh, I don't know, almost fantasy China. <laughs> My favorite thing at, at Minho is actually the local markets. The uh, walking down on the morning markets and there's just all of these fresh produce that are incredibly cheap there's just loads of people the streets are crowded um, and to some that may sound bad but i love the excitement of it and it, it's fantastic you can see geese and, and ducks and and birds of all kind ready for you know anyone to come along and buy and they'll butcher right there there's also i mean just wonderful selection of fruits and vegetables uh, you know, any type of shop you can come across. And uh, the interesting thing about being on Minho is, is as I said before, you, they don't see a lot of foreigners. So every time you stop, everyone's trying to sell you everything or show you their best produce. And it's, it's quite an experience out here that you uh, don't get as often in the big city. Um, and I like exploring the older parts. A lot of Fuzhou has been uh, torn down and new, more modern buildings have been put up. But out here you can explore older areas of the city and see what China looked like 10, 15 years ago. Well, it's, it's a smaller town, that's, that's a big one. Uh, it's still bigger than anything I ever lived in back uh, in uh, Michigan. But uh, it, it's nice to get that feel. and. Another one is, is this, um, this Riverside Park and all the green areas, the mountains all around us. Uh, first time I came out here and walked this, this park area where we're at is, it was just, uh, I fell in love with this area. And um, fuzhou has got some great parks, but nothing that quite compares to, to this. Uh, and the last thing is, is as I said before, the, the smaller Chinese streets and markets and the older houses and, uh, I, I like older things and I like the more traditional feel to things uh, as uh, instead of skyscrapers everywhere and the fast pace of the city. So, so this is Main Ho Folk Park. It's a, it's a nice little park in the middle of the city where you can come down here and have a nice park and learn a little history of culture. The temples here, museum, all these plaques on the walkway can tell you different things. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little quiet area in the middle of the city, you can come check out. This is the Mead Hall Museum, so let's go inside and take a look. Right now at the museum, they have the Fujian, which is the local province, colorful wood carving and gold lacquer exhibition. So this is some of the gold lacquer here, and it's really cool. Getting close, you can see that a little bit of the lacquer's come off and it's really aged, but it's really well preserved. I've never seen this before, it's really neat. And it's uh, local to this area. 
There's a really cool art school near here that has a great overlook of the city. So let's go take a look at that. Minho may be a smaller town, but the mall here where the school is at has a great selection of shops and restaurants, uh, many Chinese ones, but also a few from home. We got McDonald's, KFC, Starbucks. Uh, there's even a great movie theater and a gym, a little Italian restaurant out front. Uh, but instead of me telling you about it, let's go take a look. They gave us our own sign. Oh, we're going this way. Hello and welcome to York Minho Branch. Come on in. We usually do no shoes. Um, today I'm going to ignore that, but we have uh, slippers here and uh, sandals. Interview rooms, offices for the CCs, principal, admin. Our lovely demo room. Come on and take a look. This is where we uh, convince all the students to come join us here at York. We have a very large teacher's office. Uh, this is for the teachers. Classrooms are all this way. English at home board, uh, some extra work for the kids to take home, and some place to put up photos, and uh, classroom. This is your standard classroom. Uh, they all have interactive whiteboards, and then the bigger whiteboards that you can write on. Uh, pretty standard for each one. They all change a little bit in size. But, uh, yes, for those who've read about the southern China heat, we do have air conditioning. Yeah, we'll go this way. So we have 10 classrooms, all basically the same layout as that. And they're all down this hallway. Offset entrance for the teacher's office. You don't have to walk all around. You can't take the shortcut. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, and then we're back at the demo room, classroom two. The waiting area. Not go for Kids like to hang out here with their parents between classes. Parents hang out here and wait for the kids. They have a 25 meter pool, which is awesome because I like to swim. I mean, I look like it, but I like to swim. The meter pool is really nice. Uh, it's very clean. They keep up on it all the time. Uh, it's I got lucky today, there's no one in the pool, uh, but normally it's quite busy, and it's a great swim. I would say, one, get used to the staring. Uh, I might have mentioned it a couple of times that, you know, being the only foreigners around out here, and uh, people that don't see a lot of foreigners, so they stare a lot. Uh, they're super friendly, they'll wanna say hi, they'll wanna get to know you. Um, no one's trying to be rude or anything, it's just, uh, they're excited to see you, so just get used to that. Um, get a decent translation app. Uh, in, even in Fuzhou these days, there's uh, some decent uh, uh, English usage, but out here in Minho, it is uh, Mandarin all the time. Uh, with a little bit of Fujowa, well, mostly Fujowa, but uh, get yourself a decent translation app until you pick up a little bit of the local. Um, learn your numbers, that'll save you a lot, and explore. That's, that's my last bit of advice. This is a really cool area. Get out, check it out, look around, uh, find your favorite place. So uh, welcome to Minho, and I hope you like it as much as I do.